Hello everybody, in this Blakeify review video, I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about Blakeify. As always, if you do have any comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. Uh, in the description, I will also be leaving a discounted link so that you can always get your money's worth for Blakeify. So Blakeify is essentially a website where you can put in text, you can put in documents or different things, and it will come out with text-to-speech voices. So as you can see here, this is the uh, main dashboard. It gives you your US dollar balance, how many characters you have available, any notifications, and then your usage. As we have a free plan, we are limited to 5,000. And then on the right, we have a quick guide, profile update button, a support ticket button, and a pay now button if you want to upgrade your plan. Up in the top right, we obviously have view profile, audio settings, change password, and the option to toggle dark mode as well, which I've just done. But we'll come back to these settings a little bit later. On the left hand side, we obviously have our taskbar. Now we're going to go into each of these and basically I'm going to be showing you what they do. So under text to speech, it will say obviously that we've got 5,000 characters left, but we're going to begin with doing one to begin with. So we're going to enter a title. We're just going to call it hello. I'm going to select the project. We haven't created a project yet. You need to create one in here, but this is if you need a large amount of text to speeches sent to one folder so that you can easily export them uh, or give them to people who need to receive them. So what we're going to do is we're going to select voices. Now, as you can see, we've got a little pop up here. And by hitting voices, we can select which one we want. So I'm going to go with Amy, which is English and UK female. But going back to text to speech, this is where we now allow. So as you can see now, we've got Amy selected and we can essentially make her say whatever we want. So I'm going to put in, hello, my name is Amy. And then you can change the volume, the speed, the pitch, style, and engine, but we're not going to change any of that. You use that here. You can change all of this stuff with these options at the top. You can also check whether it's neural or whether it's standard. We're going to go for standard. But as you can see, you can change different types of volume, whether it's fast or not, the pitch, and then you can choose whether there's a pause as well. And then you can also say whether you want it in a new style. So all you need to do is go ahead and hit this button here to listen to it. Hello, my name is Amy. And once you've done that, you can either download it or you can click this add button and create another one. And then at the bottom here, we have your TTS files. So the ones that you've transcribed will appear here. Um, but as you can see, we haven't done that yet. So no, uh, no uh, voices have appeared in the table. So moving on to document to speech, this is very, very simple and fairly self-explanatory as well. You have 5,000 standard characters for a document and what you would need to do is upload it in PDF doc or docx format and simply import it here. Once it's uploaded, you will simply be able to title it and then you will also be able to select which voice you want, the identical voice styles and options, and then the same three buttons at the end to pick which, uh, whether you want to download it or whether you want to listen to it first. And then obviously you can also select a project and then at the bottom your transcribed text-to-speech files will appear there. Under project we're able to add a project so if you call this um, Amy Voices we go ahead and hit save and this will create a project for all of our voices that we want to put Amy into. So now that I've gone back to text-to-speech if I hit select project and select Amy Voices and as soon as we go to projects and then go in here you can see that we have our text. Obviously, there's no text inserted, but that is exactly as it was when we imported it. So now we can go to voices. Now, this yet again is similar to what we had earlier. This is the page of which you can add all the voices that you want. Any ones that have a red one, as I already said, you can add these, but if you want to unlock the other ones, you do have to pay it for a premium plan. And you can also use these filter menus to select between voice type, gender, and then language. And as well as that, you can also show how many of these voices will appear on a page. Now going to my music, you can actually apply your voice background music whilst it's playing. So if I just typed in a title and then selected which text-to-speech audio file we've done, you can upload audio that will be integrated seamlessly and at a good level into the background. So say you wanted it to narrate a YouTube video for you and you'd already screen recorded it, and you wanted background audio with that, all you would need to do is make sure you do this, apply background, you can choose the volume of it, so you can have it really, really loud, or you can have it relatively quiet so it doesn't get in the way, and then you just hit apply background, and then it will appear in your voice list once it's complete. Now under support ticket, this is where you can create a ticket to contact support. I'm not going to do this because I don't have any errors or any issues with it yet. But all you would need to do is hit new ticket and then you simply put your category, priority, subject, description of what issue you're having. 
under my finance you can choose to pay now for a subscription here are the prices in case you were wondering under my subscription this gives you the information about what you've currently got and your outgoing payments at so the start time and your end time and actions you can cancel it from here and also your package names you know which subscription tier you've actually subscribed to and then you've obviously got your list payment opportunity where you can also view all of these as well such as the status type payment gateway time item amount and also as last time actions now finally under tools we have the ability to view our profile as you can see here is our profile it gives us the email address username and all the typical information you'd find in a profile thing you can change your avatar if you so please but it will obviously assign you a nice sort of stock image that they've already got in case you don't want to it also gives you information about your balance characters and plan that you can view on the uh, on the original dashboard and then you can simply hit save changes at the bottom. You can also change your password. And if you then go ahead and hit merge audio, this is where you can essentially upload one audio file and then select multiple audio files and merge them together. Um, there are a few uses where you would want to do this. Maybe you've forgotten to put uh, background music on or maybe one of the words doesn't sound quite right all you would need to do is hit add new audio you can choose two audio files or two audio speeches and then hit merge appropriately for both of them and then under my notification we simply have our notifications that we receive here but as you can see we don't have any the only other thing that I will need to show you is the notification panel. As you can see, it's very, very simple. At the bottom here, we have a support system. As you can see, this one here is powered by Talk, but many, many different ones use different um, different operators for their support. But as you can see, you can either search for answers or start a conversation. And then at the top here, we're going to go to audio settings very, very quickly. You can obviously set the export to MP3 or WAV. You can also select the sample rate of the audio file. So 48 kilohertz would obviously be the best and obviously exported in WAV as well. So it isn't compressed. And then you can also choose whether your things auto save or whether you want to manually do it. And that is about it for this website. So now it begs the question, do I recommend Blakeify? Now, I would definitely say yes. There are lots of TTS options out there so that you can obviously create text to speech on the internet very easily for YouTube videos. But I really, really like this one for the primary reason of the user interface. A lot of them are quite tacky. A lot of them look and feel quite difficult to use. They don't really appear to be very user friendly, but this one definitely, definitely does. Um, and that's something I really, really like about it. The amount of voices that they let you use is plentiful and you, you're you never going to be cut short for the amount of, you know, genders, for the amount of nationalities that they are at that you need for your voices. So I think it's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this review video. I hope you found it useful and I will see you in the next one.